to the 15th ArchiCAD video tutorial for beginners. In this one I'm going to talk about the stair tool. So you can find your stair, stair tool over here on the left. And let's go a little bit through some of the settings. So over here you can set the direction of your stair. So while you are drawing, should the stair go upward or downward? I always leave this to upward. And over and over here you're gonna set whether you want to have railings either on the left or on the right both or just one of them can be selected and over here you're gonna have the settings of your baseline so you can either have it on the left with offset left center right right with offset so you can choose either one of these while you draw let's just leave it as it is and start drawing a little bit so we're going to do one click over here, we're going to do the second click, this is going to be your first segment of the stair. We're going to do this, you can either input the distance or just randomly click. Let's input the distance by holding down shift and tab and say 3 meters. Now I'm going to draw the second segment and while you draw over here you can select if you want to have a flight or a landing or a window with equal angles or a window with equal goings. So let's just keep it simple and draw a landing. And I am going to hold down my shift key and press tab in order to input this distance and let's say we're gonna have 2.2 meters. Now I'm going to go over here downwards and we still have the landing option selected I'm going to go back and have it be a flight so if I go down here I can either I could either go and have it be at the same distance as this one shorter or longer it's up to you so I'm just going to hold down my shift key and press tab and I'm going to just say let's say 2.7 and this is what we have because we had the railing um, option the railing button selected we don't just have a stair created but we also have two independent railings created so I'm just going to select everything and I'm going to press F5 to see everything in 3D so this is what we have Um, in order to just keep talking in this video about the stair tool, I'm going to delete these railings and maybe I'm going to talk about railings more in future videos, but right now let's just keep it about stairs. So this is the stair that was created. Let's select it and go to settings by clicking Ctrl and T. Over here you have the different settings of your stair that you can change and I cannot go through all of these, but I'm going to talk about the ones that I use most often. One of the most important things is the height of the stair. So in this case I have my home story on the ground floor and I'm going to set the top story to be on the first story. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK and see what happens. So the stair got a bit taller because our first story is obviously um, higher than what it was which is which was below the first I'm going to go back to settings now and over here you can change the uh, settings if you want your stair to start with the rise or with the tread and over here you can select if you want it to end with the tread or end with the riser I usually leave this to end with the riser and start with the tread but depending on how you want your stair to look you can change this and just have them be. Over here you can um, set the going depth to be e either flexible or fixed. Over here for the riser you can set it to be either straight or slanted. So if you need to make changes once you have drawn your stair you can make them from here or you can click OK and go into your floor plan. You can make changes over here as well. So let's say you want to modify this landing you can click on it and then go over here and uh, click on select segment type 
So let's say you want it to be a window with equal angles. You can just select it over here and click OK. And now the stair got automatically modified. You could also uh, modify this to have a curved edge. But in order for it to have a curved edge, it became a landing without those extra windows. I'm going to undo this change just so I can show you how you can modify the nodes. So if you click on these uh, segments of the, of the stair, you can change the segment types. And if you click on the nodes, you can, you can change the turning type options. So if you click over here, you can either have it be a landing or a window with equal growings. In the same way, if you want to change this segment, you can just select it and either add more nodes or you can just make it maybe curved and other things like this. So if you go in a 3D, the, change, the stair got automatically changed based on all the, all the changes that we made. You can also change the stair home and top from over here. You can change the bottom at of elevation to project zero. I always leave this on zero. And the top you can ch set to whatever you want. So you can change those settings from over here. You can also start with the thread or start with the riser from here or end with the thread or end with the riser. You can change all those settings here. Over here you can uh, input the width of your stair. Let's say we want it to be 1.1 meter, you can change it from here and it automatically does it. Over here you can change the number of stairs that your stair has. So you can either have 17, 18 in this case, 22. But if there are too many, then ARCHICAD won't make the change because due to the shape that you have, maybe you cannot have that many stairs. And over here you can change the height of your, ri of your risers. So you can increase it or decrease it and if you decrease it you're gonna uh, have more stairs up here if you increase it the number of stairs is gonna be lower over here you can also change the setting of the stairs that we've seen in the settings tab and also all of these turning type that we've seen in the settings tabs are over here as well over here you can select for your stair to either have a structure or not or have a finish or not in order to show you this I'm going to go back in my 3d so if I select my stair and I uh, unclick this structure, then the structure of the stair disappears and we only have the finish. Similarly, if we click it back and then unclick the finish, then we're just not going to see the finish of the stair, we're just going to see the structure. You can change the flight structure from over here, but I, I never change these um, settings from over here. I usually go in the settings tab. I find that it's a bit more easier to see it from here. So if I select the structure, I can either have it be monolithic or a beam. So it automatically created the beam for you. But the landing structure, we still have it as monolithic. So if you want it to be uniform, we're just going to change this to beam and click OK. And this is what we have. Let's also click over here and enable the finish so that it looks more normal. Because the shape of the stair is so weird, you're going to have so some anomalies, so the structure over here peeps out. But you can always adjust that once you are happy with the shape of your stair and you're sure that this is how you want it to look. So if you go back to settings, let's say we want it cantilevered, both of the... Both the the flight and the landing structure. We're going to click OK. And we have this interesting looking stair over here. And if you want to go into more detail, you can set here under flight cantilever. You can set the height of the actual cantilever flight block. You can change the uh, cantilever type so you can have it just be a bracket. And then click OK. This is what that looks like. So there's really a bunch of different options that you can um, change in ARCHICAD. You just have to basically go through them and see what works for what you want to do. If we go back to settings, you can also um, change the settings of the finish. So you can either enable it from here or not. 
or you can also you can also uh, the flight finish you can have it be just on the thread or both on the thread and the riser so that is also good to know depending on the look you're going for okay let's go back to our floor plan okay so let's draw a new stair and see some more of these settings so I have my stair tool selected I'm just gonna draw one over here and if we select it and we click here on draining on flight we can see that automatically we get a draining but also this one got clicked so if you uh, unclick one of them uh, the other one gets unclicked and vice versa so you can have some of these settings over here too you can have it either on the left side on the right side or on both sides if we go in 3d we can see this is the draining that we're talking about okay let's keep it selected over here okay let's go back to the floor plan and over here we can see the show on tab so we can have it be visible either on relevant bottom story or relevant tops and stop story above relevant story and all of these settings over here and if you want to do more changes in the 2d view of your stair you can go back to settings and over here under floor plan display you can change a bunch of stuff so i pretty much always click here over the overwrite objects line types and overwrite objects bands and put my own color over here that i want you can also change all of these um, floor plan display layouts from over here and over here you can change the reflected ceiling plan display if you click on this arrow here so we can see a few more details you can change the grid and the structure uh, because we have all of the lines and line types overridden all of these colors don't matter because we have them all in gray we have the break mark we have the walking line we have the numbering you can um, have the numbering for the rises or for the treads you can have the placement either on the risers or a bunch of other options over here you can have the up and down text over here either have it be visible or not or and over here you can change the description so if you want this to say something different or be um, shown in a different way this is where you change it you can either have the number of rises and the height or all of these other options so you can just go through them and select whichever one suits you the best this is pretty important too so this is where you can change the floor plan cut plane height you can either have a custom height or at the particular riser the number of goings and a few other that I very rarely touch so if you need to change some of these you can like meddle with these settings but I very rarely do so that is pretty much all about the stair tool I'm gonna do a separate video on the railing for this video this is pretty much it hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one bye